We're talking today about testosterone. A study by the Journal of Sexual Medicine reports physicians wrote 2 million prescriptions in year 2006 and 2007. 21 percent of those were specifically testosterone products for women. It's a key player for women as they age, but achieving the perfect balance of estrogen with testosterone can be tricky. So we turned to our trusted advisor, Dr. Marie Savard, who's, who has a new book coming out, Ask Dr. Marie, which gives straight talk and answers to your most private questions. Welcome, Dr. Savard. So great to have you back on the show. Thanks, Tanya. So testosterone, this is a hormone that we obviously associate with men, but tell us why it's so important for women as well. Actually, our ovaries and our adrenal glands produce testosterone because we need it. We need it in balance with estrogen. As it turns out, and we know this from studies of women who don't have enough, that testosterone contributes to your libido, your sense of well-being, just how you feel, sense of feeling well, and sort of muscle strength, power. So it has a lot to do, even mood. So it has a lot to do with just generally how we feel, a lot to do with libido, and just our sense of well-being. So estrogen and testosterone balance together sort of regulate our bodies in essence. Well, they do. So estrogen is important because we think of that as the female hormone. Mm -hmm. But estrogen alone is not enough. So we need both the estrogen and a small amount of testosterone. And together, the two seems to be what works in terms of how we feel as young women. And I, I say that because once women get older and lose some of that testosterone, they can feel the difference. They can sort of have a sense of just being a little out of balance. Well, besides getting older, what are some of the causes of low testosterone in women? Well, first is age. By the time we hit menopause, believe it or not, women lose half the amount of testosterone they had as a younger woman. So that's first. And then natural menopause, because suddenly our ovaries, which produce 50% of the testos testosterone, suddenly shut down. So you going through natural menopause, surgical menopause. That's the most difficult. That's when women at a young age even, maybe for endometriosis, have both ovaries removed. They have a really tough time because when they lose that testosterone, often their doctors will say, here, take estrogen, that takes care of it. It doesn't. Again, studies have shown you need that little bit of added testosterone. And then finally, it can happen from birth control pills. A lot of women don't realize that. The oral birth control pills and then oral hormone replacement. Those two things, hormones actually bind the testosterone in the blood and lower the amount of free testosterone, this good stuff that, that works, that sort of circulates around. So important to know those causes because so many women could be suffering from symptoms and not realize what's going on. And uh, because a lot of these are not obvious, like surgical menopause, you wouldn't expect to be going through some of these hormonal issues. Right, you think of hot flashes right. and you get treated with estrogen and you don't realize, why is it that I still don't feel well? Women on the pill, a lot of women now as they get older are still put on low dose, mm -hmm. the mini pills we call it. Those women can actually experience as their testosterone is already going down, they can experience even worsening in terms of how they feel, worsening libido, and well, we all know that sex as we get older is good for us. That's right, we gotta keep it going. And so what are some of the treatments available to women who are suffering from low testosterone? There are treatments available, but I will tell you they're not great mm. treatments. So let's start first. We have pills. Estrogen does come packaged with testosterone, but I would never recommend in general the oral form because it goes to the liver, it gets metabolized by the liver, it can cause a lot of side effects. But there is that one option. Second are creams. Compounding pharmacies will make testosterone, natural plant-based testosterone. You've heard the word bioidenticals. That's kind of what they're referring mm -hmm. to. That can be very effective as a cream. You can rub it on the skin and it's absorbed kind of into the work with your doctor and use a small dose and see how much and, you and need. You have Personally, I think the, the, the bioidentical cream is the best we have and you just have to work. Personal opinion is that's the only acceptable way to get it right now for women, but you've got to work with the dose and you don't want to take too much. Correct. Injections are available. I wouldn't recommend an injection. Again, the dose is unpredictable and you may get too much. Mm -hmm. Too much is not good. Finally, for men, I'm not recommending this. This is not approved for women. Right. But as you said in the beginning, 20% of all the prescriptions for the testosterone gel, what, Testum is one name, Androgel is the other, for men are actually given to women. And why is that? Because women are complaining. They have low libido, they've had surgery, and there's no other good product available for them. Research is being done. There was a study showing in women, published through Cleveland, clinic that using a patch actually was helpful to women but again there's no patch or mm. gel equivalent available right now personally i think the the, the bioidentical cream is the best we have and you just have to work with your doctor and use a small dose and 
see how much and, you and need. And you have reservations about some of the others because of their side effects, is that right? What are the side effects? Well, there are a number of side effects and safety concerns long term. Okay. First, testosterone is a male hormone, so if you're taking too much, you can have male characteristics. You can get some hair growth. Oh. You can have male pattern baldness develop, hoarseness, believe it or not, acne. You can have, you know, putting on belly fat in the middle. All the things that, unfortunately, men do as they age because of the hormone can happen to a woman if she's taking too much. So mm. too much is not good. Why is it so hard to find out the correct dose? Well, we... Our ovaries normally make a small amount. Our adrenals assist with that, making the other half. And what we don't know is in each individual woman, if she has extra body fat, sometimes the estrogen is converted to testosterone or reverse. Sometimes testosterone is converted to estrogen. It's hard to know. There's no simple blood test. They're not completely reliable. So as much as it's tempting to have a blood test, and if your blood test shows you're very low, that's helpful. Right. But if it shows you're normal, that may not be enough. I think you just have to persist, be that squeaky wheel if you have right. symptoms. Know that it's important hormone, but know we don't have a good solution mm. right now. So I guess, uh, Dr. Marie, you'd, you'd suggest talking it over with your doctor, but first and foremost, asking if the cream might be a, a good solution, because right. that seems to be the best option right now. Always you know, go with the safest, lowest mm -hmm. dose, and I just think we have to wait for more research and more studies for women. But women need to be the squeaky wheel about this because it is important. Absolutely. Dr. Marie Savard, thank you so much. And you can find more answers to sensitive questions on our ABC Health page. And keep a lookout for Dr. Marie Savard's book, Ask Dr. Marie. We'll be right back.